Hi, this is an Easy Kiss 1 2 3 tutorial, and today we're going to set up a web gallery. And I'm going to show you how uh, to use Picasa and create a web gallery for your website in literally seconds. And there's also a lot of really cool templates that you can put in to your Picasa program from Google. And I've got a nice list here in the tutorial of the templates I found online that you can download and create galleries with. So if you're not already there, go to easykiss123.com and if you don't see the uh, tutorial at the top of the page just come over here and do a search for like gallery or photo or something and it'll bring it up to the top now we'll scroll down the page and we'll go to the demo tab and if we click that you'll see it brings up a page with a huge list of all the different templates gallery templates that you can install with Picasa. So let's get started and we'll create our first gallery for your website. Go to the download tab and you'll see a link here to get the Google Pack and that brings up this page and the piece of software we want is Picasa. So make sure you have the latest version and we'll go here and download and there's all kinds of other software here if you want that go ahead and download what you want but really the only thing we need checked and the only thing we need to download is Picasa. So once we have it and installed it's going to ask you if you want to scan your full computer or just your documents and desktop. I recommend just do your your my documents and your desktop otherwise you end up with a lot of junk images that it scans your entire computer and then you have a huge list of images to sort through that it's kind of a pain. So what we've done, I've created a gallery here and you'll find a list of folders. So you just select any folder that you want and you can go here and for example up here it says gallery. Well I've named it that. If you double click it you can name it whatever you want. I've called it gallery because it's going online and gallery seems like a good thing. And also note this is going to be part of the path to your with your URL so I use all small letters just makes it easier for me and everybody else and then we don't end up with any mistakes you can put a description of your gallery in as well and if you want to add any captions to your photos you just double click a photo and down below you'll see here you can double click it and type in whatever you want and I put in I misspelled it right I misspelled it. Glamorous Angelina. Okay, when you're done, you can double click and you're back out. Now, what you'll notice is there's a blue line meaning that this image is selected. So, if we just try and create our gallery now, it's only going to give us this image. So, let's go down to like this little white space here and click out so that none of them are selected. Make, just make sure our folder is selected. And we'll go up here to the top and say folder and export as HTML page and it gives you a few different sizes for your page the 10, 24, 800, or 640 I'll just go 640 for this example and it's given me the title of my page and it's asking me to select where I want the gallery to be saved on my computer well that's fine it's a folder I created on my desktop and I'll say next now I have a list here you won't have the exact same list as me, but I'm going to show you how to install these templates so that you can have different options. And if you click one, it shows you a different gallery. I'm going to go with the simple viewer. <coughs> Excuse me. And once I have it selected, I'll just click finish. And it was easy as that. And it created my gallery for me. And if I click an image, it brings it up over here. Or I can use these and this is only one template there are many others so feel free to browse on this page and find a template that you like so go to the desktop where I saved that gallery and it saved it to the folder called gallery and I'll just open my FTP program and I'll upload that to my server make sure that that is finished just 
just about. So if I go here now and go easykiss123.com slash gallery, have a look. And there it is. There's my gallery. Great looking gallery. Only took seconds to make. Now, if you want to browse these templates and install them, what you can do, and we'll take an example, for example, the Carousel 3D Flash Slideshow. And there's a demo of this. Which is interesting. So we'll close that up. Now say if that was the one you wanted, then you can go to the download. If you want to go to this gallery authors page, you can just go to more details and it'll take you directly to their page. You can read about the gallery and any special notes they have. Um, I'm just going to download it and save it. To the desktop. and carousel 3D slideshow. So I'm going to extract that here and it gives me a folder. Carousel 3D slideshow. So I just want to take this folder and cut it and I'm going to go to my computer, my C drive, program files and go to my Picasa 2 folder and then there's a folder in there called web go in there and then templates when I'm in templates I'm just gonna paste that folder directly in now when I go to Picasa and if I go export as HTML page and one of the options it gives me is the carousel 3d slideshow and I just click finish and I've created that slideshow. And then I would just upload that, FTP that up, and there's my gallery. Very easy, very cool. This has been an Easy Kiss 1-2-3 tutorial, and thank you for watching.